trying to separate both these two talented individuals. Ooh, okay, he's out. Yeah, boy, he looks for the up smash yet again. It did not work out, and Tweet will be our Saints Game and Live Grand Finals champion. Let's go, Tweet. Resets the neutral, full screen, teleporting in. Sonic Fox doesn't get a full combo punish on it. Last breath is oh. it's disappeared. One oh. HP, and it goes to head. Sonic Fox, it's your summit of time, champion. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Esports in 30 FGC Edition. I'm Brody Moore, and we have a loaded couch, as you can tell. As usual, we got the man himself, Trueface, but we also have Smash commentator Rodney. What's up, boys? I'm doing pretty well, man. I cannot complain. How you guys doing? I'm doing all right, man. I got you here, and I'm glad you're here in Toronto, baby. Woo! Here you go. You, okay. couldn't, you couldn't ask for more, <laughs> right? But, uh, of course, you know, we had a lot going on, uh, you know, some of the time. And, Rod, you were commentating Saints Gaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how are you liking time in Canada right now? Uh, it's phenomenal. Obviously, food's really good, water's drinkable, mm -hmm. air's clear. <laughs> Can't complain. There's not much to complain about at all. Now, the Smash scene has invaded Canada, and a lot of top players came to battle it out. So, before we chat about it, let's get to the highlights from Saints Gaming Live. He just seems to be knowing the right option. Oh. Wow! That was oh. all off of a parry. Oh my god. That was all off of a parry. It looked Drag down. Oh, attack. Drab resets. Two in a row in a down smash. Not finding the kill. Oh, yet. no! Oh my god. What is he not covering? I don't know the is whatever. Oh, Paris, I don't know what the hell Dark Samus is. Whatever oh, yeah. going on. Oh, he gets okay. the first hit of parry. Man. Oh, man. On your opponent. Make sure it's being transferred. Constantly, because it stays up for about 26 seconds. Oh my god, JW! God, oh, the damage is real. Wow, he's in oh, the lead! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Going for a shadow sneak, trying to keep it going. Wow, has not done oh. the combo yet! JW! The next hit is going to be massive okay. for either player. Finds the ground forward throw. It's not going to kill. Edge guard situation though. Snake going high, has a C4 back. Up too high percent to Link, but the up smash punishing the landing. We have a game five. JW versus Mr. R. Sure, later. Has the grenade. If that grenade hits, okay. Oh, he's dead. He might be. Yeah. Oh, the, the grenade! grenade! He's dead. Uh, this is it. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, that one was a part of yeah, the was, was outsider. Yeah, that was definitely an outsider. So you're Americanized. Oh, caught him out of his own. Just can't get done. You are dead. What the? What is dead? What on? Yes. Mr. R? Yes. It's short for Mr. RIP. Yes. With the air dodge him. But a little too low. Now we're at dangerous percentages here, man. You know, oh, this no. is the point where that WAP becomes a real problem. Okay. Oh, now we, is uh, that it? Uh, yeah. That's probably it. Yeah, yeah goodbye. Okay, Not even a problem, there. definitely. Yeah. My bad. You are definitely <laughs> RFP. This is a problem right here. No platform for you that time. I actually expected him to jump off the bike a little bit early. That's why you've seen the up smash. You the platform. He almost connected that, like the whole thing. Get the bike. He almost got the uh, dash check to hit where the bike was. Up smash, out of shield. Yeah, he's gone. Great. Showing the tweet as he gets the reverse 3 0. As I said, you never want to count him out. Cosmos really letting this one escape him. Oh! Oh, he's oh, on no. stage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, yeah, you might actually be there. Yeah, okay, I was actually wasn't sure. I was like, wait a minute. I thought he was going to go for the back throw. Hit that L button in the direction. It's good. It's good. So 59%. Gets that. Oh, oh is it enough? Nasty. It is. Nonetheless, man, 1% separating both these two talented individuals. Ooh, okay, he's out. Yeah, boy, he looks for the up smash yet again. It did not work out, and Tweet will be our Saints Game and Live Grand Finals champion. Let's go, Tweet. Tweak showed up to Saints Gaming Live and rolled out there with a trophy. Now, Rod, we haven't seen Tweak make a really big splash in a long time uh, since Frostbite, you know. So, what break it down? Like, what was he doing well here that you know made him walk away with that win? I just feel like Tweak has been in a rare form, you know, these last couple months. Yeah. I think, you know, leaving Frostbite, you know, I, I followed him on Twitter. You know, it just kind of seemed like there were some things that he was kind of going back and forth with, maybe with the game, his, okay. his yeah. idea about the meta. And it's the early game, you know, things change. People fall in love with the game, they fall out of love, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But you're sponsored for a reason, okay? Yeah. You gotta yeah, keep playing, yeah, yeah. right? You know, say so you gotta make the money. So, um, but he was job. just, yeah, it's a job, you yeah. know, at the end of the day. And I think he was just in like final form tweak mode, you know. It's been quite some time since I've seen him play like that. Um, his conversions were really nice, his combos are really well. And of course, you know, he just, the way he just controlled the neutral throughout the majority of the top eight. I mean, he just was an unstoppable force. 
Yeah, so it, it was it was next to I think he was uh, d against Mars. He was down like 2-0 <laughs> at one point. Mm -hmm. Get the reverse sweep on him. We all like that's got to be tough. Like, what did he switch up? You see, it was it was a character switch? What was it just a mentality shift? I think it was a mentality shift. I think Wario brings a level of fear to the meta that other characters just don't quite at, at top tier mm -hmm. level as a character. You know, the fact that you can be just wafted or farted on yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally be farted Absolutely. on you know, and killed it. You know, in a in just at a low percent. I think that is very scary for the competition, especially versus a character like uh, Mars' ZSS. ZSS has the ability to mm -hmm. KO very, very early, mm -hmm. but now she's met against somebody who can do it even quicker than she can. And it, it could be a little scary sometime in bracket, you know? Yeah, you have, ha, had any Mario's you had, tr or Wario, sorry, you had trouble against? Oh, all the time. All the time, man. <laughs> Mario, like, I am the Wario that you have trouble with. <laughs> uh, look at me, baby, look at me. Ooh. You know, <laughs> Mars has excellent, excellent defense, and uh, this version of Zero Suit Samus kind of does suit his uh, play style. Do you? How did Tweak overcome that? Um, I just think you know the biggest thing when you play against um, when you play a character like ZSS and you play against some mm -hmm. of these bigger characters. The main objective is that you want to grab them. They have to get grabbed because they're so much yeah. bigger than the rest of the cast. It's really easy to combo them. But I just think with how great Wario's air maneuverability is, he was able to stay at that good distance away to where he could not be grabbed from so far away. And so I, I think when you implement that versus somebody like Mars, I just think it became that much more difficult for Mars to try to overcome Tweet, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, now you mentioned it before too, that he's been having difficulty with the game. I think not too long ago, he was, uh, Tweet was actually on uh, Twitter saying that he found Smash Ultimate boring. Yeah. So like when, when players get into this lull, you, you mentioned it's a job to get it back to it. Sometimes not enough, that's not enough and you, you just you start to hate life. You, what do you have to do, <laughs> right? Like it's just like, if you're forced to do do something, yeah, it's not yeah. gonna be fun. So like, what That's do you right. gotta do to get yourself in a mentality that you can actually enjoy the game again and I, love what you're doing? You know, I think it's um, something similar to like a breakup. You know, sometimes you need to step All away right. from the situation, look at it, and because you, you can only connect the dots looking backwards. Yeah, okay? yeah. So, you know, you step, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you just, you step away, you see what maybe you aren't liking, you see the things you do like, and then from there you kind of gather information, and then from there you can apply it back into the game again. And I think that's kind of like what Tweak did. You know, Tweak didn't necessarily take a break, but I just think there was something that he did within himself and some of the people that he lived with where maybe he just mm. had the opportunity to relax a little bit more, maybe step out, maybe enjoy the nightlife. Believe it or not, gamers, we do go out yeah. and have fun. Actually, gamers party hard, dude. We, Those yes. Twitch after parties? Yes. Next Ridiculous. level. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's right. And that, if you can get in. On some yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> They're getting harder and harder to get in, but for good reasons, obviously. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I think Tweak is just starting to enjoy life a little bit better when it comes to playing, and I, I think, you know, you're starting to see it in his play style. Now, one, one thing I've always seen is, is like, um, playing, I, I've always said playing other games sometimes can bring you back. Do you find, like, Jeru in the FTC, having the ability to pl jump between different games, you know, have a whole community of games you can play, helps you get over some of those hurdles sometimes? Sometimes players get burnt out, and the easiest way to avoid burnout is mm. variety, right? And yeah. like you were saying, his mm -hmm. quality of life was probably super heavily focused yes. on Smash Ultimate because mm -hmm. he got sponsored. So he's probably feeling, most of the time players, when they finally get sponsored like that, mm -hmm. they, they feel the pressure to perform yeah. and they just overplay and they burn themselves out. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way is probably playing another game, especially if you're a fighting game player like Tweak. Mm -hmm. You try your hand at another variety of fighting games. But for me, I would just take a break from the game and just enjoy my life and find a perfect balance of work life yeah. And that way, when I maneuver through that, maybe I'll, I'll play a lot better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it could be, you could play another game, but if maybe playing the game is the action that stresses you out, mm -hmm. I would definitely try something else. Like maybe find a new hobby. A bit, yeah. yeah, like go rock climbing. Go rock climbing. I'm You're not sure. <laughs> get outside. Go rock climbing. Right. That's, that's dangerous. My hand, the, their hands are their tools, man. You can't tell them. They might hurt them. Oh, they yeah. can strengthen their hands. They can yeah. strengthen their hands, man. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so this, Smash Ultimate's been around for a bit now. Obviously, right. it played a lot off Smash 4, mm -hmm. um, but like Ultimate's got its own things going on. Mm -hmm. So now that we've had it in our hands for a while, for a few months, how have you seen the meta and just the scene evolve and adapt? We've seen a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. We've seen some crazy new metas. What's it like? You know, it almost feels like the Avengers or something. It just seems yeah. like everybody's trying to come together for like this epic finish. You know, when the game first got announced, it kind of had some of what DBZ had. The community just was, oh, you know, everybody was like, there's so many characters. Yes, the hype was there. Yeah. Everybody wanted in on the game. And I had, I have not seen a platform fighter really do that for not just mm -hmm. Smash, but just for fighting yeah. games in general. Like we had guys like Katana Prime and Tasty Steve. Oh, I'm getting in bracket. Oh, yeah. see my DK. And I'm just like, you know what? Even though DK sucks, and I'm not going to tell you sucks, I'm here for you getting in bracket. You know what you I'm want saying? To see, yeah. I, wanna, I just want to see that crossover, you know? And I, I just think, you know, with how great the game is, the variety mm -hmm. of characters, every character, not just variety, every character's back. The stages, the music selection. I mean, it's literally the one-stop shop for platform fighting in the gaming community. Yeah. I'm happy for it. Well, yeah. I mean, 
the, look, do you think the character choices is gonna get more narrow as we move on with the meta? Because like, or that's, is it balanced really well? <laughs> or is, because there's 73 characters. I don't think they're gonna actually balance all 73. That takes like an entire like team mm -hmm. dedicated. I think to it's that. impossible too. Yeah. I'm just gonna call it. I feel yeah. like that's impossible. <laughs> it's it's impossible, and I think you know, in trying to do that, that's like trying to please everybody, and that's just obviously very very difficult to yeah, do. Not just in Smash, that. just in life in <laughs> yeah, general. You, you know. I, but I well, think there's also a casual audience too that yeah. they pay attention to. Yes, yes, there's a huge casual audience that I, and I still feel like even though this game is probably, it was created to be a little bit more competitive. Yeah, of course. Characters all share the same dash dance, they all share the same jump squad animation, so on and so forth. I still think that the casual audience can certainly get in on it because of the, the variety, excuse me, of the stages, the characters, mm -hmm. the music, that sucks the casual people in. And even though like the competitive scene is really strong, Nintendo makes most of their money off of casual buyers. Yep. It's the perfect party game, you know? You're just kicking it with some buddies. Children's party game. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some Smash on, man. Everybody in the room's talking stuff. Throw it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, one guy that's actually using a lot uh, has been Mr. R. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like, do you think like he's doing well just because he has such a, a variety of characters he can pull from that people don't have that matchup knowledge yet? Or is he just like, obviously he's a skilled player, but is a lot of that coming from the lack of matchup knowledge right now? Um, I think it just, it's both, but I think it's the fact that he's just so skilled. Even looking back in Brawl, he was one of the best, if not the best Marf mains in the business back yeah. in Brawl. And Brawl was very, very different from Smash 4 and Ultimate. Brawl was very much about neutral. There was no fancy, I mean, there was fancy stuff, but you had to learn how to fight first before you can do the, the flash. You know, you, had to, you needed fire before the flash. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so I think when you take that just over the last decade and some change of playing, he just really, really evolved the meta, you know, with his Sheik gameplay, his Marv gameplay, you know, there was just so much that he could really do on the sticks. And just to see him still playing this far along, I mean, it just, it brings a tear to my eye almost. You know, I feel like a mm -hmm. proud dad. I'm like, wow, look at this guy. Still, I was watching this guy when I was 14 yeah. and here he is still rocking. <laughs> here yeah. we are in he's Saints placing, gaming. Like. And he's still placing well, right? Yeah, that's that's great. Well, you know, let's let's move while we're here and in, 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 got you here in Canada. Let's talk about the Canadian scene a bit. Because Smash Ultimate's blowing up here, and we still got some more events coming up. But uh -huh. uh, talk about some players here, uh, JD uh, Black Twins, those two. Um, how are they stacking up against the or JW, uh, JW sorry, Bl stacking up against the rest of, of the world right now? Um, I think you know to touch on JW really quick. I feel like you know here in Ultimate, we're starting to see um, more players, more like mid-level regional players come to fruition. And this isn't to take a shot or anything at JW, he's a phenomenal yeah, yeah, yeah. player. But he's been doing so great out here. But sometimes I feel like the rest of the world just try, I don't know what it is. Maybe they just don't want to pay attention to Canada. I don't know what it is, but the fact that Ultimate is out and it's as prominent as it is right now in gaming and JW can go as ham as he wants, I'm like, I think he might actually be putting Canada back on the map again. At least oh, in this really? Game. Well, and back in the previous titles, we had like Mistake, we had Ally. Oh, they yeah. did so well. And, and Mistake obviously doesn't play anymore. Ally yeah. is, is still playing. Ally was doing all right recently. Yes, and Ally was still doing really great. But I think JW and the fact that he's playing Greninja too, everybody yeah, wants to unload the Toad. Did. Everybody <laughs> wants to unload the Toad. So he's like, a character loyalist. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He's a, he's a character loyalist. It's an innuendo and, there. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Um, I actually first met JW at Canada Cup back in 2017. Oh, yeah. That's right. He played against um, another very prominent player. His name was Lima. And everybody was like, oh, Lima's going to wash JW. It's going to be a quick, you know, 3 0 in a handshake. And I was just and like, I don't know about that <laughs> one, Chief. And it, it was anything but that. JW was able to beat him. And so fast forward here almost a year and a half, two years later. It's really good to see him do great right now. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, of course, looking forward to the events coming up. We got Gommel coming up. Oof. I'm sure you, you'll probably be there. I'll be there. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm probably helping run a portion of it. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, you'll be there. Oh, there you, you guys will be there. So yeah. I'm just looking forward. Uh, obviously, way too early predictions and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but based on who we know is going so far, mm -hmm. um, any early predictions? Who's going to take this? What's the, that top eight kind of going to look like? It's, it's, it's hard. It's too it's early hard. right it's now. Hard. Well, you but. know what? Like, had it been back in like Brawl or Smash, where it'd be a little bit easier. But like, yeah. you know, you have like even looking back at like yeah. Saints Gaming, we were like, you know, it's probably going to be you know uh, Tweak and Mars and Grands, and yeah. then Cosmos as the wild card. But when you have a tournament of this stature, it's just, there's so many players here, and Gamo. They're very good at bringing out the best of the community. Even mm -hmm. looking at it last year, yeah. they had the most PGR ranked players at an event since 2GG Civil War. It was basically Civil War Part Two. I yeah. was just like, <laughs> okay, Canada, this is what I'm talking about. Like when I talk about you guys in the states, this is the stuff I bring this up. Is what but, I want to see, yeah. yeah, it's just it's so hard to really pinpoint. You know, if I was a betting man. And I don't have a lot of money. But <laughs> if I was a betting man, because I work at Eastport, no, I'm kidding. But I'd have to put my money on uh, on Panda Global Mars. With just how well he's been playing, I've been following his journey these last couple majors. We were at Pound together. Um, he does some Tuesday online qualifying tournaments mm -hmm. that I commentate. This young man is on fire, okay? He's not even 21 yet, okay? I, I, I think 
he's going to do really well because the game caters to his skill set. He's mm -hmm. a heavy neutral defensive player, and that's what Ultima is kind of shaping up to be. Mm -hmm. So that I would kind of agree that he'd be a, a good pick there. I personally think that two Canadians that will at least make top five. Oh yes. Yeah. Like I, 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 I which of, which Canadian is it? I, I can't predict that. Say because black. Okay, just, it's gonna be Canadian. It's, it's gonna say be black twins. <laughs> I just want you to say sure. black twins. Okay, black twins okay. for sure. Aaron's definitely gonna do it. But like okay. the other Canadian might be like uh, might be Riddles because Riddles is mm -hmm. someone who's really strong in in Ontario, but mm -hmm. he hasn't really got his moment. I feel like this is his time. This is time to shine. Yeah, this, this is, is main time. stage. Okay. Yeah, main stage. Absolutely. It's his hometown, baby. I'm, okay. I'm that K-pop star is definitely ready to rock. All right. All right. Definitely ready to rock. It's going to be your time to shine a set because we're going to move on to something a little bit more gory, shall we? Oh, no. You ready? Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, the era of Mortal Kombat 11 is here, and we got an early taste of the competitive scene at the Summit of Time. If you're squeamish, you may want to hide your eyes for a second as we check out the highlights. Time, 12 seconds to go. He's, 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 he's waiting just for that mirror to come back. Woo. Anything in the chop shop will get the job done. Oh, yeah, oh, he's yeah. not going to risk it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Anything in the chop shop will eat up both those meters. Oh, wow. I mean, that's cute, but oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. he oh, got it. Oh, 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 buzzer. Oh, he drops it again. In. That's two huge opportunities. Oh, and my oh, God. Oh, Counterpoint oh, fatal blow. Honestly, I think that was... That, that, that wasn't all enough. No, he's definitely not dead. Surely not. I think this I mean, one no, might maybe? depend on the on the hits. Ooh. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, if, I think if they had hit fully, it would have been. Oh no! The mix up! Oh, he, he did it! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh look at the flag! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Look at this. Look at this. Oh, and the damage over time. over time. This man is actually He's bleeding. bleeding. He's, He's actually bleeding. dead. This is actually it's over with. Oh my god! Stop it! Yo, oh no! Oh, he touched him twice! Oh, oh no! God! Oh, 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 the promised one! Oh, DJT, the chosen oh, one! Oh my god. Down fours. Oh, no! He dedicates to it! He dedicates to the fatal blow when it was the wrong choice! DJT defeats Tweedy in a last situation! Dang! He's grabbing the Chop, sand trap, it's all good. Yo, he might not have been This might one be more, free One more, one more. What's the mix up? The wake up roll! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh my, he, he had the read on every single oh, oh, one. Hey. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> Get over here! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. After all that, Sonic Fox takes it. Damn! Oh. Yo, Tweety, pick another character! Oh. 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 He has the breakaway though, just use it. There it is. It's late, it's late, but he's good still. Oh, oh. is it Okay. Dash oh. Oh. oh no! Oh. Sonic Fox oh. has breezed his way into grand finals! And off with it! Dragon does not have a fatal blow available, but Cetrion right now may not be in kill territory unless he gets a crushing oh, blow. No, no read that's an escape level to grab, and that's gonna do it. Sonic Fox up 2-0 on championship point for the summit of time right now for the greatest Mortal Kombat player in history. Oh, there's a oh, escape fail. Oh, no. This is one last chance. Dragon has one opportunity. He has no defensive bar. What's it gonna be? He manages to bag the low. Trying to keep it away. This is make or break. Dash punch. One dash punch will take it. No, just been reset. Sonic Fox is on the hunt right now. Looking for anything right now. Maybe a raw dash punch. Oh, does right. get to throw his dragon. Resets the neutral. Full screen. Teleporting in. Sonic Fox doesn't get a full combo punish the on kicks. it. Last breath is oh. it's disappeared. One oh. HP. Oh. Sonic Fox is your summit of time champion. And who could possibly win the first summit of time other than the master of another run games? It's Sonic Fox, guys. Sonic Fox is already a legend in every single FGC game, it seems right now. Were we surprised that he took over MK11? Mm -hmm. Your faces. <laughs> no, not really, dude. Like, come on. That's his first off, that's that's where he made his name, right? That's where yeah. he made his name and and the worst part is he had to fight his training partner, who he, he, he unfortunately beats more often than not. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, I it's know the your easy, now. It's <laughs> the easiest, like, come on, that was the safest bet of all time. Like, that was at least a negative thousand favorite. <laughs> like, you could not make any money on that I think bet. you only dropped one game. So what, what is it? Like, why? Like, how? Like, obviously, you know, it's the, the meta is, like, fresh, undeveloped right now. Um, and Sonic Fox, is it just he, he can, like, just dive in and he has, like, this, like, sense or so? What is it? <laughs> he's, not, he's not from this. He's a sentient being from some other planet okay. where they breathe fighting. No, I'm kidding. No, I mean, he's just, I mean, he's just phenomenal all the way across the board. Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, Dragon Ball Fighters, Injustice 2, Mortal yeah. Kombat, MK9. Like this, I mean, what can't he do? It's incredible. I think he has, 
he probably has the best preparation in comparison to the You think it's his prep that sets him ahead? Absolutely, mm. absolutely. And they had like, what, a month to play with the game? Or two, yeah. two weeks to play with the game? Mm. So he, he did his best. He's playing against the people he thought would be the best at the game. And that's Dragon. And okay, guess who yeah, got yeah. second? Dragon. Yeah, he yeah, played yeah, against yeah. Gross. Guess who got third? Gross. So, right, so like they, they, those guys are training partners. They're playing every day. They're preparing all the time. Like obviously, if you knew, you'd probably be as good as him. But like, what is the, what is the prep? What goes into his prep work? You think at least that that's making his prep work so much better than anyone else's prep work. Well, his methodology in terms of going to training mode is completely is drastically different from the most standard approach, right? Yeah. He's not trying to. He doesn't have like a character loyalty at all, which mm -hmm. is a NRS trait. You're not supposed to be loyal to your character. You're supposed okay, to just play yeah. the meta to the best of your ability. Yeah. And because of top that- Top-tier enthusiasm. Top-tier enthusiasm <laughs> all the time. Meant. <laughs> all the time. And every time you do that, across all multiple games, you, you start developing the, an idea of how a game is supposed to be designed and how to break mm -hmm. it. So that's what he's doing. Like, and, and that's why I theorize. Because if I knew, God damn, I wouldn't be on this couch, I'd be playing games. <laughs> You'd be winning, right? No, we'd have you, you'd be in that seat, Yeah, we'd be in that seat. I'd be in that seat. we want to move here one day. No, I, I, and to kind of add to that, too, I think the, um, that's very much a fighting game player thing, you know, to take um, a, a multitude of characters, not just one, and just constantly mm -hmm. keep repeating the same combo, the same thing over and over until it becomes ingrained in your head. I mean, he may not be a sentient uh, being muscle from another memory. planet, the muscle memory, yeah. but he might be some some sort of alien. I don't know what, I don't maybe a robot. I don't know what he's he is. He's a fox. But he, yeah, he's a fox. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I mean, even looking at Leffen, like in Dragon Ball Fighters, like, I mean, I would just tune into some of his streams back when he was playing that really heavy yeah. and just constantly the same combo over, over and, and over. over until he gets it, you know, and not only does he get it muscle memory wise, but he situationally gets it as well. So he knows when to do it and when not to do well, it. Well, that was the thing is like when I started learning Smash Brothers and Melee, is, yes. you know, when I learned how to wave dash, at the beginning, you just wave dash everywhere That's with right. no regard for positioning, stage control, anything. You're just like, yeah. I'm a wave dash because I can do it. Just do it. But you get bodied because of it, right? It's yeah. until you learn how to implement that yes. in the right situation. So you think he's just like... practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so he just puts... He, he works the hardest. A lot of people often overlook that because he doesn't talk about how hard he works. Yeah. But he works he's, He works the hardest. Well, not only that, like, is he dominant, like, he's super entertaining as well. I think um, he took out Tweety with his own character, Garrus, as well. Like, <laughs> yes. that's LBM, too, right? Like, um, but that, like, I don't know, just overall, it's just fun to watch Sonic Fox. Um, like, I, let's just talk about how important, like, so many... People that are so good, like Zero, mm -hmm. you know, pe people start to hate them after a while, right? But I feel like Sonic Fox, it's it's kind of like everyone's loving this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, is it, it like how important is he to just FGC as a whole right now? I mean, he, him as a person, he's he's a pioneer in what he's doing. Yeah, right. He's representing the LGBT. Q so community. many communities he represents. He's, he's, yeah. he's a he's, he's like a, a minority on television, and yeah. he's he's literally constantly calling out people. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he's playing like a, a really niche genre fighting yeah. games, right? Mm. Like we don't get the attention that maybe Fortnite gets yeah. at all. No, but, he's, but he gets that attention. Mm. And that's because of who he is as a person mm. and the games he plays and his dominance. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's cool. And on top of that, he's not boring. Like he's not a boring person at all. He's yeah, really yeah, yeah. interesting to talk to. Mm. Yeah, do you, do you think like Sonic Fox is kind of like that key to like helping just the mainstream audience see the FGC as, as an eSport? I think so. I think, you know, he is, uh, I think he embodies a lot of great parts about the FGC, mm -hmm. all the good parts, and yeah. really none of the bad parts. Yeah. To yeah. say there's any really thing, anything <laughs> bad about the FGC, you know, but I think, you know, there's the, the, the game diversity, like mm -hmm. I said before, Injustice 2, MK9, Skullgirls, Dragon Ball, I mean, so many things. I mean, I, and they tweet about maybe coming over to Smash one day. I'm like, hey, yeah, open I arms, you know, hey, yeah. I can, I'll take it open arms. Um, but, you know, of course, it's the game diversity, it's the character diversity, it's the attitude, okay, yeah. the swagger. I mean, yeah. and in his case, it's the costume, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, of course, it also, if you just follow him on Twitter, too, you know, he documents his life pretty well by where he's at, how he's enjoying life. So you get to see a different side of him as a player. You know, mm -hmm. of course, we fall in love with the competitive aspect, but we like to know it's that there's personality, a personality, yeah. Yeah, we like to know there's a human side to yeah, our favorite got players, too. That's, yeah. that's right. Now, of course, we're talking a lot about him, and most people do, but I want to focus on some other players as well. There are a ton of other good, talented players there. Um, who are some of the other players that we did see, or at least caught your eye, um, that stepped out and you're like, oh, I want to keep an eye on him in MK11 right now? Dragon and Hayate. Okay. Uh, Hayate definitely was the closest to being Sonic Fox out of Dragon mm -hmm. with Aaron Black. Mm -hmm. What was it? Was. Like, what was he doing? Well, Hayate is always known for being a really aggressive rushdown player, mm -hmm. and this is one of the more neutral, heavy... Mortal Kombat, so it's glad I'm glad to see that style really, really show. Uh, 
Dragon is more defensive, so he's really good at zoning. He's also really good at like whip punishing. Mm -hmm. And generally, he gets really good at the game. A little slower than Sonic Fox, but he's up there with Sonic Fox in terms of talent. Okay. So he'll probably get like so, he'll so probably his skill cap is up there. It's just like it takes him a little bit more time to get a there. little more time, and he's younger too. So that's oh, okay, the best yeah, part. Yeah. So he's probably gonna get there maybe within this three or four months, and you're gonna see a lot of great battles with him and Drag uh, with him and Sonic Fox. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fantastic. Actually, that's now, the storyline everybody should really really talk about. That's probably. But there's a name that wasn't at Summit of Time that people should really pay okay, attention who? to. It's Rewind. Oh, okay. Why, really, why was Rewind not there? Uh, Rewind unfortunately couldn't make the bolts, man. He's not that popular. But uh, he's, uh, okay. he, he's an evil champ. He's super young, and he's he's really gonna step into his prime in this game too. Okay, so mm. make make his case right now of why people need to be voting next time for, well, for Rewind. The the reason why you have to pay attention to Rewind is because he is one of Sonic Fox's training partners, and on top of that, man, he is so good at both aspects of the game, offense and defense. So I think that people need to really start paying attention to that. And on top of that, he labs the hardest. Right. He labs the hardest. Yeah. Um, no, and that is, as Sonic Fox shows, very important. Um, now, obviously, a little bit early. We've, you know, this is like the first real high-level MK11 tournament we've seen. But when it comes to, to meta right now, what are we seeing? Like, what is being established right now as meta? Is it, is it specific characters or is it specific play style? Well, initially, the game had something called wave dashing. And yeah. it looked really, it looked oh. like the stanky yeah, leg. I wonder what <laughs> so it looked it's like, like the you need wave dashing now. It looked like the stanky leg. But the thing with the stanky leg <laughs> is that it, it showed you that which characters were fast at moving. Okay. And so if your character has a great ability to dash in and out, that way you can make your opponent whip. Because this is the neut more neutral heavy yeah. of the Mortal Kombat, then that's something you have to look out for. On top of that, it. If you're good at your character is gonna be really good at one thing or another. Mm -hmm. So if you're good, your character is good at zoning. Man, you you better make sure he can move in and out, or she can move in and out really well. If your character is good at defense, you better make sure that they can move in and out and avoid stuff. If your character is good at offense, you, like Jackie, Jackie was pulled out from Sonic Fox, and that character just goes in, like yeah, yeah, just yeah. doesn't care. But the best part is she can move out just as quick. So that's the best part about it. And she's not even the, one of the best characters. Garrus is one of the best. So He's Rod, a great grappler too. Rod, like, what, what's your play style? Is it, is it zoning, grappling, aggression, passive? Like, what, what's your play style? Like, if you were to pick a character, you know, at least in terms of Mortal Kombat, or just I guess in fighting games in general, I always pick the cocky character. So, okay. like, so like in this case, so it's I, the attitude. It's the attitude. You know, it's Johnny Cage. You know, I'm a Johnny Cage guy. You know, and yeah. this dude is hilarious. I mean, young Johnny, old Johnny, whatever. In, in between Johnny, it doesn't matter. Dude's hilarious. But I, I feel like even looking back at, um, you know, the last Mortal Kombat installment. I mean, you got so many. You got three different variations of Johnny yeah, Cage. Of course, absolutely. you know you got like stun double. You got fisty cuss, which was one of my favorite ones. And I think fisty cuss with that one, it kind of forced me and allowed me to get in a little bit easier. And yeah. then it gave me the the cool brutality absolutely. afterwards. So hey, you know, yeah, yeah, a little bit of brutality, a little bit of style. You know, that's Johnny Cage's motto. So I, I'm very much like the rush down in your face, cocky type of your fighting game guy. I like it. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what I expect, at least from him. That's that's my understanding of the FTC right now, is right. most of that. <laughs> just loud and in your loud. face. Right? <laughs> just mid, yeah. now, now, of course, the FTC isn't just about fighting. It's also about rock, paper, scissors. This is sometimes the most important thing when it comes to FTC deciding things. Uh, before we, I, I'm going to get you guys to battle in a sec, but before, what's the strategy going into rock, paper, scissors, Drew? Well, if you're going to get us to battle, I can't reveal my strategy. Oh, how foolish, no, how foolish of you, Brody. How foolish. <laughs> All right, how you dare you? <laughs> All right, let's do a little bracket. You're the guest. We'll give you a buy into the grand finals, and we're going to fight for a chance to fight you. All right? All right, cool. You ready? Drew? Best of three. No, you me. Drew, you me. Oh, He's yeah. in the grand finals already. Oh, chilling right now. All right, All right. All right. All right. ready? Rock, paper. Right. Oh, do we have the same strat? Wow. This is going to go. Ah. <laughs> All right, best of three, though. All right, best of three. Ready? Oh, look at All this. Right. Oh, wow. My strat did not pull off. I do scissors every time. Do you? I really? never stop. <laughs> The way I break it down is really offensive. Okay. Really offensive. However, I look at you, I see how how, how your personality is. Yeah, I yeah. judge. What, you're really, you're really uh, what does scissors mean about me? Right. Uh, break it down. You're very peaceful. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know, you're very I don't know violent. That. You're very violent. <laughs> all right. All right. Grand finals time. Grand finals. Are we on right, three or are we on shoot? Well, we'll do it on shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Okay. Rock, paper, Oh, that was oh, one. That's one. That's one. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! The hold on, clean hold on, hold on. sweep. That's just the that's clean just... sweep. Okay, one more. No, that's, that's, that's the reset. That's the reset. That's reset. I was in winners. I was in winners. Okay. One more. One more.
Ooh. All right, ready? Here it is, here it is. Last match. Okay. We're coming in, grand finals. That's right, Crack give me the commentary. Reset. Give me the commentary. Were they gonna pull on the shoot? Tied with scissors. Oh. And there it is, the finish, no bracket reset. You couldn't keep the momentum, Drew. I could not. And Rodney comes out on top, your <sighs> champion. <sighs> Of squad, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, we have to make a whole segment out of this, actually. Yeah, this has been great. Might, might have to. <laughs> and guys, we are out of time. Unfortunately, it is the end of esports in 30. Rod, this is, thank you so much for joining us today on the couch at Chat Smash. And tomorrow's show, we're hitting the RLCS Season 7 playoffs, so you don't want to miss it. Until then, hit up our socials at Squad State. We'll see you then.